Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. And today I thought I'll give you a sneak peek about what we've been doing in the front garden. Now that garden was traditionally an ornamental uh, garden. Uh, we had almost nothing uh, edible growing in it. Uh, we did plant uh, one apple tree, which actually came from my home garden. And we planted that from a pip, so it's not on a rootstock. And then a few years later, uh, another apple tree grew up from the root of that tree and it's actually um, like a sucker uh, but it has different apples on it which is weird anyway um, one of the beauties of gardening at home is there's so many different microclimates so there's different levels of sun morning sun afternoon sun different lengths uh, of sunshine uh, wind from different directions you know really sheltered spots fairly exposed spots and that is just a tremendous opportunity to tune different parts of the garden to different types of veg. And I'm really enjoying that by contrast with the allotment, which is effectively just an open field. It gets sun pretty much all of the time, wind from every direction. So, uh, yeah, that's so just opened up a whole new set of opportunities and challenges for us. So really enjoying that. So let's just take a quick look at the front garden. And you can see that it's really dominated by a rockery on one side and a lovely sort of sheltered area behind a wall on the other. Uh, and some dappled shade from the tree. And uh, um, so what we've decided to do is to plant onions all the way around the border of the garden. Uh, I think we've got about 140 onions in there. Uh, some of those are from sets and some of them are um, spring onions from seed. Uh, so we've got a few hundred uh, spring onions in there as well. Uh, and then in the sunniest spot, but with a little bit of dappled shade from the tree at certain times of day, uh, that's where we've put the courgettes. And then a bit further over from those, uh, that's where we're going to put the summer squash, uh, something like a trumpuccino. Well, it will be a trumpuccino, I think. Um, and then in all the kind of little gaps that open up, that's where we're going to put chard and perpetual spinach. Um, and and then we've got one spot which is really quite shaded and I think it only gets about six hours of sun a day uh, and that's where we're going to put the kale and we did an experiment last year putting kale there over winter and it actually I think we planted it in August something like that um, but most of the time it grew over winter uh, you know late autumn and, and winter and it did amazingly well there so we're really happy with that so we think planting it now will be even better. Uh, and we planted it quite densely uh, and probably thin some of those plants out as it goes. So uh, yeah, so that's pretty much, oh, and then we've got the bean frames. Um, and so we're gonna have two different varieties of purple and a green uh, climbing French bean there. And then we've got some runner beans uh, and more French beans in the back garden. And we'll talk about those in a minute. So I think that's pretty much what we're doing in the front garden. It's going to be really lovely. And then in the back garden, we finally started harvesting. So it's, it's, I really am excited about that. Uh, we've got some beautiful lettuce beds, which we're going to start harvesting on Sunday. Uh, we've got that spinach red kitten bed. Um, and we've got um, the uh, alderman pea shoots, uh, which we're harvesting. So, and some corn salad. So quite a nice range of stuff in the garden, just starting to come on stream. Obviously, loads of stuff that uh, we're still waiting for. And then we've got a kale patch in the back garden as well, and we planted that about two weeks ago, and we had it under nets just, for, just to get the plants established. We've just taken the nets off those, and they're looking really nice. So um, yeah, I'm very pleased about those. And then I generally start my beans off in little tents, and uh, so I'm just starting to take the tents off them, them now. Um, because you know the, the weather forecast is quite mild so um, it's really nice to get rid of all that horrible plastic um, and see the beans climbing up the poles. I also finally managed to source some uh, containers for the tomatoes and the peppers and so I've got I've set that little corner up now and I'm probably going to fill those uh, with compost over the next few days so I'm almost finished now with the uh, jobs in the back garden so it's it's uh, there's been a lot of progress and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, I've got to say. It's really nice to see loads of flowers on the blueberries and um, yeah, now the propagation areas, they're also doing really nicely. 
our kind of you know hot house really which is the conservatory we've got, we'll be harvesting um, cucumbers this week and I'm really pleased to see that we've got cucumbers on both of our plants uh, actually one of the pots I think has got three cucumbers in it one's got two um, and we're seeing a, a really lush um, growth on those and I think we've got probably four cucumbers ready for harvest there now so that's really exciting and of course as soon as you start picking them then you know more start to come uh, the, the growth seems to really accelerate as soon as you pick the first ones um, and then our little we're doing a lot of hardening off at the moment so our little grow area is where we're keeping things um, during the night and then we're bringing them outside into the sun to harden off during the day and then we've got another little grow tent thing that uh, Debbie bought from Aldi for £15 because they were selling them off and we attached it to the wall with a batten so it's really well secured because otherwise it would just blow away but uh, that's where we've got a lot of the brassicas and perpetual kales um, <laughs> We've got the brassicas uh, and the perpetual spinach uh, and the beetroot and things like that, um, some spinach. And they're almost ready for planting now, those. So uh, I think with that, I'll finish up because I only wanted this to be a short video. But uh, yeah, lots going on at home. And uh, Debbie's at the allotment at the moment. I'm stuck at home. So getting all my exercise in the back garden. And that's where I'm making my videos. So I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.